What is behind this? Is it simply this grab for yield anywhere you can get it? It is part that, and remember, we're in a much different environment coming in this year, more of a bond-friendly environment, right? So as investors are looking to add on more bond allocation, they're trying to do it in every fixed income asset class they can. And for high tax bracket individuals, munis have been and still are the best solution when and it that, comes to fixed income alternatives. Have we seen an acceleration there because of the SALT, you know, the, the tweaks over the last couple of years? It, exactly. So as part of kind of the tax reform that started at the beginning of 2018, the state and local tax deduction is capped at $10,000. So if you're in a high tax state, effectively your tax rate has gone up. So you have investors in California, New York, New Jersey, that are looking to park their money in those state specific bonds because it's the most effective. So how low have the yields fallen now? I mean, are we talking about historic lows? We're close to historic lows. We've probably already touched that point kind of in the 10 year part of the curve. So right now an A rated 10 year bond today is roughly yielding about a 145. Wow. Which, you know, keep in mind, though, if you're looking at a highest tax bracket, tax equivalent yield is still pretty attractive at about a 240. So still a little bit higher than what you'd get in a treasury. In a treasury, but, yeah. But is it safe? I mean, th this is such a, an interesting question yes. because, you know, obviously 10 years ago we had a lot of focus on whether there was going to be a wave of defaults throughout the muni bond yep. uh, landscape. That, yep. that, that didn't happen, but every right. time you see these headlines where you know that issuers are being encouraged to take on more debt, you wonder, are they setting up for for future defaults? Yes, and I think that's a good question. At Eaton Vance, our credit analysts are looking to be now more cautious than ever, right, kind of going into the, the, the future. Here we are 10 years into an economic expansion. Certain states haven't gotten their act together, if you will, and you yeah. still are the seeing- Northeast, largely Illinois, California, it, perhaps? Per, so California's situation is a little unusual. Their economy and their kind of revenue stream is very cyclical, very tied to the economy large portion of their revenues are tied to personal income taxes. So when times are good, stock market returns are good, portfolios are good, their revenues are through the roof like they, they have been recently. But when that shifts, their kind of credit ratings can, can dip below. And keep in mind, California was a triple B credit post 2008 because of the massive kind of down, right. downside shift in revenues. they were caught flat footed. Exactly. So where would you recommend investors look then if they say, I, you know, I, I still am comfortable with this part of them more comfortable than maybe corporates or treasuries. What's, how do they know what's safe? Yeah, so I, I think this is where professional due diligence is very important, right? I think munis are very nuanced. You have over a million QCIPs, over 50,000 different issuers, very different than the corporate bond market. So you really need to be doing the appropriate due diligence. And generally speaking, munis have had a low default rate. But I think this is, again, due to the unfunded pension liability issues that we've all been hearing a lot about due to some high debt that some states and cities are facing. This is where professional management is going to be very important. So, you know, at e Advance, a lot of our clients kind of appreciate that, that due diligence, that we're going to still buy you the highly rated AA, even A rated triple B bonds. But let's make sure that we're staying out of the landmines, if you will, especially if this is their sleep safe money.